Here we go. Today we're working in Premiere 13.1.5 and Pluralize 4, synchronizing audio and video for a two camera shoot for a live stage music show. And as always, I'm just jumping right into a project I'm currently working on as part of my regular workflow. So if anything's confusing or if I don't explain something well, leave questions below in the comments and I'll try to add a video to break down that particular task into smaller steps for you. So I've got a new project in Premiere right here. I've imported some footage into bins. I've got a bin with a date for each show and show time. And I'm going to start here with this Monday 8 p.m. show because we've got a good number of clips for two different camera angles. Uh, this will be camera one. This will be camera two. So I'm going to create a new sequence here in the edit bin that I've previously created. New sequence can be file new sequence or click new and sequence there or just command N which is going to be end up being the quickest and up pops the new sequence dialog I like the airy presets uh, 1080p is what I'm working in 23976 a lot of cameras will say 24 when they mean 23976 it's confusing because there's an actual 24 frames which can be used as a film frame rate but NTSC video even if the camera says 24 usually means 23976 all right so now I've got my sequence created right there I'll bring you over to the timeline view here's the timeline and there's a couple of things I'm gonna look at before I place the clips one is the zoom level of the tracks I like working with the tracks a little bit bigger by default and you can just drag these little handles here to drag uh, to zoom your video and audio tracks a little bigger and the targeting here over on the left is the source patching and on the right is the track targeting basically what those means on the left you designate where you want clips to appear from your bin and your source monitor so here from your bin or if you're editing a clip from the source monitor here they will appear on your timeline according to where you have these targets selected and then the targets here will control where clips get pasted starting with the first available track and moving outward depending on how many clips you are pasting there's another use or two for those but I won't get into that in today's video so I've got camera angles. Uh, this is camera two here and camera one right here. And I'm going to put these onto the timeline. I'm going to target these tracks first. And you can bring them in on those tracks. Now, if you do drag upward, they both expand to one greater track each as you go. And then camera two, I'll bring in on the next set of tracks. And I'm gonna split these to uh, divide them before and after intermission. So we've got the first part of the show up until intermission right here. And I'm gonna use a shortcut key for the track select forward and track select backward key A. We'll get you track select forward. Everything at the current position and later will be selected. And if you need to constrain it to just one track, hold shift and then switch back to your regular selection tool, which is V. And you can move just one track, select and operate on just one track worth of clips. The little eyeball here will toggle track visibility or track output can check the clips underneath on video track one make sure we've got those split well all right so I've got that divided before and after intermission and I'm also going to bring in 
the reference audio mixes that I created earlier that we're going to use as a synchronization source to synchronize the video clips to. So there we go. Intermission before and after. And pl pluralize works best with shorter chunks of clips. So I'm going to divide this into two sequences before I proceed. I'm going to switch back over to the bin. Now we are going to duplicate this sequence using the key command shift command forward slash, which is also the question mark key. And then we are going to rename part one and part two. We'll take the part one sequence and get rid of the second half. We'll press A for the select forward, select everything and delete. Then we will open the part two sequence and select everything backward, shift A to get that tool. And we'll do a ripple delete, which you can access with shift and the forward delete key, which is right next to the end. That didn't show up correctly on the screen, but that's the forward delete key. We can shift everything to the beginning here. So now we are ready to send our sequence over to Pluralize. Here's part one sequence. When you install Pluralize, you will get an extension installed. You get to that over here, Window, Extensions, Pluralize. When you select it, you may get a panel that is undocked. If so, you can grab it and dock it with other panels wherever you like it. So from here, we can synchronize. And rather than click the Synchronize button, I like to open and pluralize. We will click here and open and pluralize. And it scans. It usually takes quite a while on the first scan. Uh, these have already been scanned before, so it went pretty quickly. And now we see 10 clips are ready to synchronize right there. Click on Synchronize. And it's usually pretty quick. Everything was synchronized. If a clip wasn't synchronized, you'll get a red number over here with a number of clips that were not synchronized. All we do is we click Export Timeline right there. Choose a location. I usually place it alongside my footage and the default name, which it takes from the sequence it came from. I usually don't like to move unsynchronized clips to the end. If I've got camera clips that are all in sequence, I want to keep them in sequence. Now that we've saved an XML from Pluralize with the synchronized clips, we are ready to import them back into Premiere. I'm going to create a temporary bin for this purpose. Command B is the shortcut. I'm going to name it temp. And I'm going to right click choose import navigate to the XML that I saved from pluralize click import and in here we have a synchronized sequence that yeah, looks like this now you may notice that our camp two camera angles the video track 2 is going to cover up video track one. And so in order to see both of them, we can change the size of each. We'll select the first one and then we will go to our effect controls Change the position to 480. Oh, video 2. Let's change that to, or change the position to 1440 and the scale to 50%. Camera 2 is here on the right side at half size. We'll select our camera 1 clip. 
change the position to 480 and scale 50 percent now we've got a side-by-side -side view there's an easy way to apply these attributes to all the clips we copy the clip with command C select the others and do option command V choose the attribute we want to paste which in this case is motion and now that clip has the size attributes that we set for the other clip select the camera one clips and copy the first one and then paste attributes the motion attribute onto the rest of the clips now we've got a side-by-side multi-cam view of the two camera angles synchronized to the mix of the show we can mute the audio from the cameras go. Now we may find that our project, our imported sequence, may have imported duplicate clips. And I find it awkward, I find it undesirable to have the duplicate clips, and I like to get rid of those and reconnect to the original clips. So we right click here, reveal in project, we'll notice that we are connected there to this clip where the original was right here. The way we fix that is we highlight the original that we want to connect to, go back to the timeline, right click, replace with the clip from bin then we can delete the duplicate copy that we had and we don't need to manage that duplicate or get confused by it in the future so now we just repeat the same process with part two the second half of the show after intermission and we will have the entire show synchronized to our reference audio mix stay tuned in another video where we will combine all of the clips from multiple days into a big multi-cam of four, eight, twelve angles, however many we have over the various multiple shoots over multiple days. 